Good morning, Year 3, and welcome to your English lesson, your first English lesson of Term 4. Now, I'm really sorry about my lighting. Um, it's the only nice spot to sit in, and unfortunately, my French doors um, produce a lot of light. My kitchen doesn't, so... Um, yeah, I apologise for my shadowy figure. Okay, right. So this week we're going to be looking at features. Features. This week we're going to be looking at leaflets, and today we're going to be identifying key features of a leaflet. So here is your spag starter. You need to underline the verb and circle the nouns in the sentence below. Now, obviously, if you don't have a printer or um, you don't want to write this out, that's fine. Just read it and um, identify the verbs and the nouns that you can see, or just write down the nouns and the verbs that you've got. You can find. So, if you'd like to pause the video and then um, we will come back to find the answers. Okay, so let's have a look at finding the nouns. That's what I think I've done. So, let's read the first sentence. The little boy likes to take his dog for a long walk around the park on Sundays. We travelled all through the night on a small coach and arrived at the hotel before breakfast. So let's have a look at the noun. So we have boy. Remember a noun is the name of a place, person or thing. Um, dog. Park. And Sundays. Okay, let's have a look at this one. Night. Coach, hotel, and breakfast. Breakfast is a noun because it's the name of a thing. It's breakfast, it's an object, isn't it? That's what you can have. Okay, let's look at the verbs. Now, verb is a doing word. So, take, because he's going to take his dog for a walk around the park on Sundays. Traveled, because you're traveling, you can do that. And arrived, you arrive at somewhere. So hopefully you've got all of them. Okay, so the spag starter for our calls then, we need to match up the word to the matching picture. So we have ant, and ant goes down there. Pen goes to the top one, and tap goes to the middle one. Okay, right, let's get on to what we are doing today. So this week we're going to be looking at leaflets and then you'll be creating your own leaflet. So hopefully you all saw my message on the Discord app and you have been able to find a handful of leaflets that you will be looking at today with the key features that we have. So what do you already know about leaflets? Now, if you'd like to pause the video again and just speak to anyone who is available to. Um, if not, just sit and have a little think. Okay, right, question. What could our key features of a leaflet be? So, what do you think would be important to go in a, a leaflet? And what do you look for in a leaflet? If you have ever used a leaflet before, have a little think. If you want to pause the video, please do. Okay, right, let's see if you come up with any of these. So, eye-catching background, large bold heading, subheadings, large pictures, example activities or information, quotes and contact information. So hopefully you thought back to our um, uh, non-chronological report and thought of those features because they're pretty similar, very, very similar, just um, slightly different things. So the contact information and um, eye-catching background. Okay, so today you're going to be using, at, you're going to be looking at different leaflets and identifying these features. So hopefully you managed to get your hands on a couple of them and you're just going to go through them. 
And then I want you to identify any more features you would include in an information leaflet. Now, I already give a clue away in the little video that I've done of me looking through a couple of leaflets. So hopefully this will help you identify any more features that you think you should include. So we're just going to play the video. I'm sorry if I ramble on, but you know me, I do love to talk. So... Okay, so we're going to have a look at this leaflet. It's for Drusilla's Park, and it's no ordinary zoo. How exciting! Um, got lots. This leaflet is massive, so there's lots to look at on here, and there's lots to discuss about as well. So, lovely, colourful leaflet. Let's just have a look at the front page. So, we have Drusilla's Park, so we have a bold heading. Um, we have got um, pictures, so here at the front. Let's have a look at this page. So we've got information here, um, we've got contact information. Um, down here you can contact them there's loads of different things that you can do so we have contact information here um, example activities or information so all of these are example activities information and this is all um, um, information here so we can pop that on one of these um, eye-catching background I mean all of this is quite eye-catching I think I like the border that they use around the um, leaflet itself but they've got all of the um, imagery around so this is quite eye-catching and um, we need to look for subheadings so again we've got some great subheadings over here, open, admission prices, what's included, because if you're scanning for a leaflet you want to see something quite quickly, the subheadings are really going to help you, so oh, I wonder how much it is to get into the, um, the zoo, and you've got admission prices here, and it will tell you how much it is, well this one doesn't, you have to go online to see it, <laughs> but you have got your subheadings and then we've got our quotes now let's have a look for some quotes and see if we can find any I love this hopefully you can spot something from this and this here as to what else we might be needing to include in our leaflet now I wonder my quote is from over here have we got any quotes on this? Don't think we have. There's contact information there as well. Um, I don't think they've got any. So, there's one that we can count out from this one. There is another one that I haven't included that you might want to include as well and look out for. Is maps, because we will definitely be using them in our leaflet. Let's see if we can get another one. We've got all of our bits. What have I got? It's another zoo. Um, <laughs> so, 
being picky. Let's have a look at this one. Let's have a look at Leeds Castle. So we've got the loveliest castle in the world. There we go. That's a quote there because it's in your quotation marks, your inverted commas, open and close. And they're saying that somebody has said that it's the loveliest castle in the world. So we've got one. I'm sorry if my head is in the way. <laughs> There we go. Got lots of things on there. Got your subheadings. What you can expect. You've got general inquiries there to contact them. Now I would definitely say that this was an eye-catching background, love that image. Now do we have a bold heading? So this is our heading here, Leeds Castle, it's actually their symbol. But it does stand out because it's on its own. So we have got our bold heading here. You say symbol, I actually mean um, um Contact information. You have your general inquiries down here, and you can also look at them, find them on Facebook, Instagram, and Twitter. We have got pictures. We've got pictures um, all over. I'll stick it on my the little duck over there, or swan, shall I say. Um, example activities or information. So there's lots of activities and information going on here. Um, we've got subheadings, we've got walk on the wild side, falconry, and we've, oh, did I stick the wrong one on there? Oh no, it's just fallen off, and then we've got our coat. Not that you can see what I'm doing. So there we go, there we have a leaflet that actually has included all of those um, key features that we're looking at. Lovely. Okay, so just coming back to this slide. So this is what you're looking for. So have a look through those leaflets that you have got. If you didn't manage to find any leaflets, please message me on Discord and I will ping some through. Or you can just have a look online at some PDFs of leaflets because I'm sure you could find them for um, some activities. Um, enjoy your first English lesson of Term 4 and I will see you tomorrow. Goodbye.